Kotel is having sincerity of heart. It's doing something from your heart because you believe is the right thing to do. Not because you believe that other person that's going to be looking at you thinks is the right thing to do. Am I making any sense here? When things get difficult in your life, when things are, when you're unsure about certain things, when the unknown gives you anxiety, when discomfort gives you a certain sense of, you know, like grossness rather than, man, I got to get through it. When you're so detached from that, you have to start by sitting down in your life and looking at yourself one to one. And a lot of guys will say that's a bunch of bullshit and oh, blah, blah, blah. Let me say this. I have made the biggest improvements in my life when I have sat directly across from me. And what I mean by that is I've literally looked at myself in the mirror and have, I've had conversations with myself in the sense that I will say something and I will really try to look at it and say, is this real, man? Like, is, is what I'm seeing real? Is, is what I believe in myself real? Are these things that I'm making up or are they real? I've put on my cell phone and I've talked about this in my book where I just speak. You know, I am a, I'm this person. I believe my strengths are this. I believe my weaknesses are this. And I have this dialogue with myself. And it works, man. It works. Because you, once you step outside from that, you start seeing yourself have this dialogue. And it's very, very powerful. And you start questioning a lot of things in your life. Because is it really true that you are this person? Are you really who you say you are? And unfortunately, that answer most of the time is no, I'm not who I am. I'm a fucking liar. I've painted a picture. I've acted in a way that is completely unbecoming, but unbecoming is truly who I am. Think about that for a second. I'm dishonorable, and I know that I shouldn't act dishonorably, but in the end, I'm really a dishonorable person. Let me break that confusion down for you, what I'm saying here. Most men don't do something or do something because it's the right thing to do based on what they want other people to think of them. So your actions are only done for other people to see you a certain way. When you are honorable, you do something because you want that person to see that you are a good person. Rather than you doing it because you know that even if no one was in the fucking room, you would still be doing it. And that's what I'm talking about when we really start looking at ourselves and start connecting with who we are and what we truly are made of. So this is what differentiates Makoto, which is sincerity of heart. And so many people ask me about it all day long, right? Literally, at least once a day, somebody asks me or I get a DM or an email or a coaching session. What is Makoto? Makoto is having sincerity of heart. It's doing something from your heart because you believe is the right thing to do. Not because you believe that other person that's going to be looking at you thinks is the right thing to do. Am I making any sense here? There's a big, huge fucking difference. Huge difference between the two. So <clears throat> when I ask a man to sit and to be completely honest with himself, most of the time if a person, a man is honest to himself, he's going to start asking questions that are uncomfortable. 
and questions such as, am I an honorable individual? Am I truly a man of action? Do I take action on things that I believe in? Do I execute on my mission or is it I just take action because I want other people to see me, because I want other people to acknowledge me? Sadly, we live in a world of showing off and people will buy into that because I can, any of you here can go out there and create a social media persona and live a life of fucking lies where 99% of the people out there that are living through social media exactly live that way. All you're seeing is the good things and the makeup, you know, the made up bullshit. All you're seeing is all these successes. You, excuse me, you very rarely, very rarely see their work behind closed doors, right? Very rarely. Some of these guys that are posting things in social media, they have the right to, but I tell you what, a good portion of them are fucking liars. Liars. Just because they got a $200,000 car and they live in a rented fucking million, two million, five million dollar house doesn't make, it's not a fucking big deal. But they make it seem like, wow, right? Like, yeah, I'm a 22 year old guy and I have, you know, I've made tens and millions because I'm a YouTuber and I'm a this and I'm a that. And they're living these lives where other people are just watching them and they're hoping, man, they're like, fuck, man, how did this person get to where they, where they got? How did they arrive there? Be very careful who you follow. Be very careful who your mentors are. Be very, very, very careful out there who the people are that you are watching closely and intently because I would say a good portion of them are fake. They're not real. Now on the flip side, you know, some people may be good. Some people may have that type of mindset and drive and they're successful and they get to flex. And if that bothers you, well, hey man, you know, you're the sour boy, you're the poor boy on the side. So, you know, mind your P's and Q's. They may have the right to do that. You may not like it, but we live in America. They can flex whatever the fuck they want to flex, especially if they've earned it. Don't be a sourpuss. Don't go hating. But know the difference between those who have something to flex and those who don't.